All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kev. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Trump. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 9, an absolutely spectacular expedition to the Step Pyramid Complex in Saqqara, including some extremely rare footage from inside of the Southern Tomb and also inside of the primary reaction chamber of the Step Pyramid itself, also featuring some exciting new revelations about the potential function of both of these areas within the complex. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the function of the Egyptian pyramids, please subscribe to The Land of Kemet here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell, like, comment, and stay tuned because you do not want to miss the content that I have coming up in the next several weeks. If you want to help support the channel, just check out thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here are some diagrams so you can get some orientation for the areas that I will be exploring in today's episode. This area on the south side of the Step Pyramid Complex is what is known as the quote unquote Southern Tomb. Here on the western side of the complex is the massive agricultural storage silo. And here in the center is the primary reaction chamber system. And this is a diagram showing the work of the Latvian scientific mission to Saqqara in 2007, where they took ground penetrating radar scans of the area that show evidence of the connecting shaft system leading from the central primary reaction chamber system within the step pyramid to the south directly toward the quote unquote southern tomb. And this shaft system was confirmed by the lead archaeologist on site with whom I had a private visit of this area during my 2020 research expedition. All right, everyone. Welcome back. I'm here in Saqqara today. Picking up where we left off in our last expedition to Zakara, discussing the Pyramid of Wanis. And today, primary objective, the southern quote unquote tomb of the Step Pyramid Complex. We will take a journey inside of the primary reaction chamber. And then I have some surprises for today's visit that I have not yet discussed here on the channel. So today is gonna to be an exceptional adventure. And thank you all so much for coming along with me on another exclusive Sunday site visit here on the land of Kem, Yalavina. Here we go. Down into what they call the southern quote unquote tomb. And you can see down here, this area has been excavated from the bedrock. This area here built up with the limestone blocks. And at the beginning of today's episode, I showed you the GPR scan that shows the existence of the shaft system that connects the primary reaction chamber 
into this secondary chamber. And I forget what year expedition it was, I believe 2020. We got to speak to the archeologist on site and I shared that diagram with him, which he was well aware of, and they know of the existence of that shaft. And they were excavating this area. But they said they had not yet discovered the link between the two areas. You can already see down there, there is a massive container made of red granite. And right there in the center is a plug. And it's two separate pieces that it's a, it's a feathered plug that squeezes together to plug up that hole. And you can see there's a, I'll get down there closer so you can see it. And this entire section here is excavated from the bedrock. here that there is a rim around this plug this two-piece plug which implies that there was a mechanism around the plug that was wrapped into that rim to remove and replace that plug and this is not one solid piece of red granite This is multiple pieces that are all mortared together to make this one cohesive block. Let me get a little bit closer here. And yep, you can very clearly see that rim around the plug. There's the inlet. And the question remains, what happens when you release that plug? And I'll be doing a full follow-up episode with the explanation of this chamber it is directly related to the granite container inside the primary chamber. Just so you can see the mortar. Now of course some of this is I'm actually looking to see if I can distinguish between the modern restorations but this actually looks like the mortar that is very similar to what we've seen in all the other structures. So, let me take a step back here. The plug mechanism implies that this container was intended to be plugged and opened. And you're certainly not squeezing a body down in through that little plug. Uh, here's, some, here's some modern patchwork, which is what I was looking at. This piece right here probably came out and they've, they've patched some of it back together. Like this here is modern. So the only thing that could be released from this container 
when that plug is released is what, ladies and gentlemen? Because it's something that's going to rise into the upper part of the chamber. Gas. So the question remains, what is beneath this container? I would propose that this is directly connected to a system of subterranean shafts like we see underneath the primary reaction chamber of the step pyramid. And when that plug is released from the top, methane gas escapes from the container, bubbling up out of the structure. Because that's the only thing that's gonna come out of this thing. When you, get, when you release that plug, gas is gonna come out of here. And we'll be discussing that again in a follow-up episode. So primary objective number one was to get some footage of this area so you can see this container as it is very similar to what we're gonna see inside the primary reaction chamber. And I'll be discussing the sequence of events that led to the construction of both of these containers inside the reaction chambers, because I don't think that they're an original part of the structure. There's something that came around later, which was to increase and expedite the production process. So bear with me for just a moment. I'm going to ascend the staircase, get some photos. And we will go from there. Yalabina. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Into the step pyramid of Saqqara. And just drawing your attention to this structure here. On the western side of the complex. And it doesn't appear to be much. But as I showed at the beginning of the episode, this is the storage silo. And there is a massive underground system beneath this entire structure that has storehouses for the agricultural material that was used in the production of the slurry that was eventually introduced into the step pyramid. Now my secondary objective for today, and you can kind of see the foundation blocks that are in the structure here. So my primary objective for today is to show you some very interesting geology inside of the step pyramid. And I have proposed a secondary mechanism of operation for the production and harvesting, using the word harvesting intentionally here at this point, for the harvesting of methane gas. And we'll be coming back to this very unique geology in an upcoming discussion for some new applications for the ammonia from the Red Pyramid of Dashur. And it is one of my favorite new revelations about not the potential function, but the potential application and specific location for the Red Pyramid. And it's actually beautiful out here today. It's a little overcast. And I just got a chance to walk around with a group from Australia that kind of caught me filming in the southern quote unquote tomb. We'll call it the secondary reaction chamber now. And I'm so fortunate and blessed to be able to do this. Alhamdulillah. All praise to God, the Almighty Creator, for giving me a second chance at life. Because that by all accounts, I should not be here. And if I get a chance, I'm going to just walk back around here on this side. Because I've never really gotten great footage of this area. And again, most people would say there's not really much to see back here, but... And as you saw on the diagram, this is an immense storage silo, basically covering the entire western portion of the Step Pyramid Complex. And there's an underground system in here. So 
now that we've seen that. And they have guards over there. They don't want you walking on top of that structure. I'm going to see if I can get in from the other side. Uh, my dude here has got the right idea. He's standing on top of the little quote-unquote hotep. I think he's got his shoes off. Connecting to some pyramid energy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the entrance into the Step Pyramid Primary Reaction Chamber. And you may already notice how black the bedrock is here inside of this chamber. Take my sunglasses off, make sure they don't fall down <laughs> into this pit. And you will see there another plug, very reminiscent to the plug that we just saw in the quote unquote Southern tomb. And hang on one sec. All right, everyone, just a quick reminder that if you want to help support the channel, just check out thelandofchem.com. This is the black on black that you see me wearing in today's video, but I also have hoodies, long sleeve shirts, t-shirts in a ton of different colors with both different logos. Digital copies of the book are still available. Updated reprints are in the works and exclusively rare. Signed copies of the limited first edition will also be out soon. Just stay tuned. But for now, if you want to show some love, just check out thelandofchem.com and thank you all so much for the support. So I always try to take a break anytime that there's other tour groups coming in here and giving them an opportunity to experience and not listen to me. All right, so again, main reason I came in here is to document the geology inside of this structure. And one of the secondary mechanisms that I've proposed for the operation of the step pyramid was not only using the agricultural slurry with the methane or the um, cattle manure catalyst for the production of methane gas, but also that they were tapping into geological deposits of methane gas located underneath the structure. And looking at the very dark color of the stone material of this bedrock is what initially gave me that impression and I have some more research that I'll be presenting soon that will substantiate this conclusion. And we all know that there are a huge system of tunnels that were excavated later underneath and branching off from this main chamber. And I believe that that tunnel system was excavated to amplify the amount of methane that was being produced inside of this structure. So that brings us back to the container with the plug in it. Again, as I mentioned before, the only thing that can come out of that container if the plug is released is gas. So let's propose that beneath that container, there is an opening to an underground shaft system that was tapping into these underground methane deposits. And when the methane had fully filled the upper part of that underground shaft system, that plug could be released. The methane would then percolate through water, filling this chamber, removing any contaminants like hydrogen disulfide or any other contaminants that you do not want in your methane gas. And then it was again extracted through the extraction shaft. And if you can see here, there's a hole right here. And if you were here in person, you could see the metal vent cover that is right inside of this hole. And anyone that's coming on my 2023 research expedition will get a chance to see that. But I think that's most likely where your outlet shaft goes. Up through here, originally there was a mastaba on top of this structure. 
and that gas could have been removed directly from a valve on top of the mastaba. But that's where the hole is, right there. And there is a metal vent cover covering up that hole. Yes. And this is the original inlet shaft into the primary chamber leading out to the north. The chamber or the, the passage that we came through on the way in was excavated by the Persians. This is not an original part of the structure. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 9, the Step Pyramid Complex of Saqqara. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And in the next episode in the series, I will start putting together all of the pieces regarding the function of the Giza pyramids with some brand new chemical analysis and footage of the iron oxide deposits. This is an episode you do not want to miss. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification button, like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's episode. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now. <laughs>